Wolfgang. Wolfgang was a fifth grade bully at PS 118. His signature look included his long blonde hair, a green shirt with a yellow cobra on it, brown shorts, and green and white shoes. Wolfgang's best friend and accomplice, Edmund, was often by his side, cheering him on and helping him through his schemes. Wolfgang often bullied Arnold and his friends who were in the fourth grade, presumably because they were younger and smaller than he was, making them easy targets. Wolfgang even bullied younger students like Chocolate Boy and proved to be quite mean-spirited in his bullying tactics. <laughs> We are first introduced to Wolfgang and his crew in Season 2, Episode 4, titled Longest Monday. In this episode, Arnold and his friends try desperately to escape the wrath of the 5th graders, led by Wolfgang, as they attempt to carry out a terrifying school tradition of throwing 4th graders into trash cans. Wolfgang wasn't just any bully though, he was the leader of the bullies. However, in Season 5, Episode 5, titled New Bully on the Block, his high status is challenged by a new bully named Ludwig. Ludwig tries to claim the lot everyone plays on as his, and he announces that he is now in charge of the 4th graders, instead of Wolfgang. This threat to Wolfgang's authority angers him and reveals just how much he values his status and power he has in his neighborhood. The two bullies argue about who will be in control of the lot until Arnold suggests Wolfgang and Ludwig split the 4th graders into two teams and play a game of football to decide who can control the lot. During the game, Wolfgang and Ludwig start to get along and by the end of it, they decide to join forces and share the lot together, keeping all the 4th graders out. Ouch. Wolfgang did whatever Wolfgang wanted to do. In addition to tormenting 4th graders, he also didn't seem to respect the rules of his school. We saw this in Season 5, Episode 7, titled Suspended. Wolfgang, that is a flagrant violation of school safety rules, not to mention federal law. You're suspended. What? You heard me. You are hereby ordered to stay out of the school for one entire week. While some bullies like Harold were portrayed as being not very intelligent, Wolfgang, in contrast, was quite clever. In the season 5 episode titled Chocolate Boy, Wolfgang promised to give Chocolate Boy 10 pounds of chocolate if he stopped eating the treat for two whole weeks. To make sure Chocolate Boy was following the rules of the agreement, he instructed his loyal friend Mickey to watch over him. Hey Mickey, get over here! I got a job for you. You tail Chocolate Boy. Make sure he doesn't eat any chocolate. None at all for two weeks. Got it? Now get out of here! No chocolate! Oh, and Mickey, our usual fee. Wolfgang was also very competitive. We see Wolfgang's competitive nature many times throughout the series. For example, in the 10th episode of the show's second season, titled Mud Bowl, Wolfgang challenges the 4th graders to a game of football. Again, in the season 5 episode titled Sit in Germs, we see Wolfgang enter a frog catching competition. So, football face, where's your champion frog catcher I heard so much about? Yeah, where's the world famous celebrity frog kitchen king of PS118? Shut up! I just asked that question! I'm a curious, interested person too, Wolfgang. Yeah! Oh. Oh, he'll be here. But I don't know, Arnold. I don't think we have a snowball's chance in. Teams, it's time to begin. Please take your places in the way. Get ready to suck mud, loser. <laughs> While Wolfgang clearly felt superior to the 4th graders, that didn't stop him from having a good time with them. This is evident from the episode Cool Party, when Wolfgang decides to crash Arnold's rooftop party. This unlikely behavior surprised even Edmund, who usually doesn't question Wolfgang's judgment. Hey 4th grade, what's going on? Party at Arnold's house! 
Come on, Edwin, let's go. But Wolfgang, they're fourth graders. If we went, wouldn't we be uncool? No. Why not? Because uh, we are so cool that even if we go to an uncool party, we'll still be cool. Wow, Wolfgang, you're really smart. Duh. Come on. <laughs> let's go. In my favorite episode that features Wolfgang, titled Friday the 13th, we see Wolfgang finally get a taste of his own medicine. In the episode, Wolfgang bets that Arnold, who claims he, that he doesn't believe in superstitions, won't be able to carry out a series of them without chickening out. After Arnold and Gerald complete all the rituals that are supposedly meant to bring them bad luck, they start to have strange things happening to them. Eventually, the duo realize Wolfgang and Edmund were behind their newfound bad luck and decide to teach them a lesson. You know, Wolfgang, you really shouldn't treat people like that. Someday, it just might catch up to you. <laughs> yeah, right, like that'll ever happen. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen black cats on Friday the 13th, Wolfgang. Thirteen black cats on Friday the 13th? That's like the worst bad luck you could have. That's like... A gazillion years, bad luck! Gerald? Get away! No, no, get back! Edmund, help me! Well, what do you want me to do? Yes, my pretty. <laughs> no! Mommy! Mommy! Lock him up! Hurry! So that brings us to the end of this Hey Arnold character analysis of Wolfgang. If you like this video, I'd love it if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more.